Welcome to episode five of You Got a Roster on the Got a Roster platform. My name is Sean O'Connor, head baseball coach at CCBC Essex in Baltimore County, Maryland. I've been a high school coach for 20 years um, and now a college coach for the last five years at the junior college level. Uh, thank you for joining us. Again, episode five, it's been about a week or so, had the 4th of July holidays um, on in the Northeast. It's been super hot. Uh, we've had record temperatures in the hundreds and been out recruiting and watching guys and, you know, observations that we have. Again, you got a roster. It's a quick podcast. It's my observations uh, that I see throughout the weeks and the weekends leading up and, and what's happening in sports that kind of bring my attention uh, that goes along in the world. Uh, Transfer Portal is still out there, uh, so hopefully everybody understands the uh, real need to get your your metrics and your ideas in front of coaches and build a relationship. You know, I I talked last week about having a list and making sure, or last, last episode, I should say, but having a list and making sure that you have what you're looking for in a school. And I, I think that's more important than ever. Um, give you two stories. Um, I've seen kids commit to colleges recently um, that don't have the major that they want to have. Um, but they're so desperate to commit or they're so desperate to be at that level um, that they don't realize it. And, and again, I think the dirty secret that a lot of people don't talk about in the transfer, and I do think, being able to transfer is a very good thing. I'll say that as a college coach. I think your ability to transfer and move on, I think is a great opportunity uh, for you to get to where you need to be if you're in a really bad spot. But in doing that, whenever you transfer, even even from a JUCO level, there's a very high chance that all the major or all the credits are not going to move forward. Now, from our level, moving over to a four-year level, one of the big reasons for that is transcripts. And one of the advices I give everybody is no matter what you're going to do, keep your transcripts and keep your syllabuses of the classes that you take because that's a big reason why certain classes are not accepted by a lot of colleges is they can't compare the school's curriculum to each other. And one of the things they have to verify is that if you take U.S. history and try to give credit for that, that it's the same U.S. history that they give at their college. Um, they can't give credit for classes they don't have at the college or, or that would fill into the college. Um, if they don't have it, then I think the best it can be is an elective. Um, and obviously some four-year schools are, or non-liberal arts schools don't have tons of elective opportunities uh, for guys to go in the process. Uh, two things I'm going to bring about uh, that I, observations for that. I, I watched a level of baseball that was very, very high. Uh, matter of fact, guys on the field um, were Division One baseball players and Division One arms. My concern or what I noticed in this game that was really shocking to me was just the bench jockeying that was going on in the dugout. And, you know, as a young coach and somebody when I was, you know, in my 20s or early 20s or late 20s, and I was that young coach, you know, I I hate to say it, but I I probably was okay with bench jockeying. And I didn't would be that old guy would say, why we got to stop this. It's not important. And I'd, and I'd be like, well, it's kind of fun and kids get it. Now looking at the other side that I'm now old um, and watching it, it, it's amazing. You see it and you just see how bad it looks. Just a horrible look in this in the scenario. And from an evaluation, it's such a turn off to watch. You know, this poor team that I watched play, very good, talented kid, and the kid had a shortstop who, I'm, who I think can flat out play. Um, but I have a concern now that – that kid believes or could believe that if he's around that type of baseball player, that that type of behavior is successful. And that's not behavior I want in my baseball program. 
I, I want guys to play hard. I want guys to put their nose down. I want guys to not worry about what the other side says. And, you know, there's, there's going to be guys that say things, especially at our level, at the college level, that's going to get underneath your skin. You got to be able to avoid that. You know, same way if you're in the big leagues, you got to avoid what people say in the stands. Um, but it's important that you get yourself and are able to put yourself in a spot where you play the best of your ability and not worry about what the guy said or what the, this happened. Um, but the amount of people yelling sword or by you or whatever it is, it's, it's just crazy. Um, and, and it's crazy in the respect of, I, I don't think these guys are rivals. I don't think there's animosity towards people. They just do it to do it. And it's got to stop. I mean, it, it's pretty bad. And the other scenario I have is, is, is a conversation I had with a, with, a, with a coach talking about putting. And the big thing I have with that is I was watching a team and the third baseman was playing back and I was in the dugout. It was an event that requires college coaches. That's what they actually require us to be is in the dugout, which it's not the most enjoyable thing to do, but if I'm going to be there, I'm going to coach while I'm in there. Um, and I said, hey, look, third baseman's back. He's off the line. If you guys can butt, this is an opportunity. Well, the kid bought it, and he got out. And the kid came back and said, yeah, we were talking, this and that. And the coach came to me and goes, you know, you'd like to see guys butt? And I, and I almost wanted to be sarcastic and say, I don't know a college coach that doesn't bot. I know there are guys out there, but for the most part, yeah, I'd love to see if a guy can bot. Um, I'd rather him know that now. I know there was a kid that I recruited a couple of years ago that on his visit with our kids as he walked around campus, he told our kids, I'm not going to bot. And our kids basically said to him, well, then you're probably not, you're probably best to play somewhere else because we're going to bunt. Coach O'Connor is going to bunt. That's what we do. Uh, we play small ball. We, we, we run the bases. Uh, we bunt. It's as simple as that. And the funny part is I talked to his college coach a couple of days ago, asked him where he was going to school. And the crazy part is, number one, he chose a college that at a four-year school that absolutely bunts. There's no question about it. And what this coach talked about this kid is, because I asked him specifically, where is he going to school? And he said, I said, eh, he was never going to play for me because of this. He goes, oh, he still can't buy. Which I, I don't know how you, once again, talk about choosing a major, a style that the college plays. I get not choosing me because you don't want to buy. But you're going to choose a four-year school, and they're, they're 100% going to buy. Because when we played them, they probably were one of the better teams I've ever seen executing it um, in the process. That's my two stories, or I guess twib quibits for the week um, of what's going on. Again, this is You Got a Roster on the Got a Roster platform. Tons of stuff out there. Uh, new overlay with the coaches. If you're a college coach and, and want to get on the platform, uh, we are still in beta mode for colleges. But I'd love to show you, or have us show you, I should say, not me, because it probably won't be me, what you can or can't do and, and how you can add your board um, and follow kids and, and, and go through the process, which I think is a pretty powerful tool in the process. We now have over 4,000 players in Got a Roster. Um, once again, it's, it's, not a, it's not a search function for colleges to find players. Um, but it is a great way for you to have a profile to put video and, and metrics out, which we have quite a bit. Our, our results are now out from a lot of our showcases that have partnered with us or have been a part of us. So please check that out on the platform. Again, if you want to ask me a question or if you have anything in the process, I'll hopefully be back quicker than a week. Uh, this time it's coach underscore OC. Uh, as we're getting ready for the college season to start here, we're wrapping down and trying to get our final rosters and uh, trying to figure out where guys are going to stay and, and all those things that are the fun part of the college process. 
as we try to get ready for the fall season. I'll try to keep this podcast going during our season and, and maybe add some 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 tidbits in, in the recruiting world and different things uh, that you have to do. I'd love to get a seminar together, maybe get something later um, in the end of the summer uh, where we get a couple colleges on and have a QO um, on on the Gata roster platform on the YouTube channel. Uh, but again, share the word. I'd love to talk to you guys or any questions that you have. Uh, anything you want me to break over. Um, Look forward to seeing you and uh, have a great week.